Hello everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. Again, I'm just so thankful that you're with me today and mostly because you are studying the Word of the living God. And when you do that, God's going to bless your life. And that's the whole point of me doing these podcasts. I just want the Lord to bless you wherever you are in your walk with Him and that you'll grow in your walk of faith with God, growing in that relationship and just learning to know God uh, in your everyday life. We want to go to him in prayer and ask him to bless our time together. So pray with me, if you will. Heavenly Father, we want to grow in our relationship with you, and we know that the only way that happens is by you helping us to do so, and you do it through your word. And so as we study these words of Paul the Apostle that you gave to him, I pray that you will bless our time together today. Lord, we open, we ask you to open our eyes and ears, our minds, our hearts to receive from you the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the truth of God's word by your Holy Spirit, and that you'd empower us by your spirit to live according to that truth so that we can be pleasing to you. That's our desire, Lord, grow in our relationship with you and be pleasing. And so we bless you today, and we thank you for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. The title of today's lesson is The Beginning of Paul's Flesh Accomplishments. It's taken from the book of Philippians, chapter 3 and verse 5. To demonstrate for the Philippians the failure of the flesh to accomplish a relationship with God, Paul the apostle uses himself as an example. In chapter 3 and verse 5, Four of the Philippians, Paul began to tell the church members, if anyone could obtain this relationship through the flesh, it would have been him. And in verse 5 of the same chapter to the Philippians, Paul begins to list the reasons why uh, he was in this manner, where he wrote, circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, and Hebrew of the Hebrews as touching the law, a Pharisee. The verse begins, circumcised the eighth day, the stock of Israel of the tribe of Benjamin. Paul earlier wrote of the concision, which was an effort by the Jewish Christians to have all Gentiles circumcised in their flesh in order to be true Christians. So Paul begins his list with circumcised the eighth day. Every Jewish boy was to be circumcised on the eighth day of his life. And Paul was no exception as he was circumcised on the eighth day and not at a later time. In addition, Paul lists that he was of the stock of Israel, which was the originating nation through whom God would share his salvation with the world. Paul was a Jew and he was of the tribe of Benjamin, which although it was one of the smallest tribes, it was a powerful tribe which produced the first king of Israel, Saul. The verse goes on to say, and Hebrew of the Hebrews, as touching the law, a Pharisee. Paul was known to be a Hebrew of the Hebrews, which meant he was born of Hebrew parents and excelled all contemporary Hebrews of his day. And when it came to the law, he was a Pharisee, which was the most strict sect of those who followed the law. Paul let it be known that he was the best of the best of the best in all areas of his life. As we go through Paul's list of fleshly accomplishments, we may want to take a quick look at our own. Are we of pure Jewish blood? Do we follow legal preciseness and high status as such? Are we as zealous for the law and the scriptures as he was? Perhaps as we think about these things, we will be inspired more and more to realize that it was God's Spirit that gave us opportunity for salvation, and it is His Spirit that keeps us in a relationship with Him. The flesh is weak and cannot provide an adequate righteousness to be in a relationship with God. Rather than us reaching out to God through the flesh, let us understand that it was God's Spirit who reached out to us no matter how great the list of our accomplishments may be. Next time, we see Paul give the Philippians more words of wisdom about the flesh. So read ahead, and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.